Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to do my review of the Great American Bash 2000. Starting off the evening we're going to go to our first match of the night. It is for the WCW Cruiserweight Championship. It is Disco Inferno versus Lieutenant Loco. I thought it was an okay match. Back and forth matchup between Inferno and Loco with Loco keeping the pace of the match. And Loco ultimately hits the finish on Inferno. Pins for the three. And your winner of the match is Lieutenant Loco. Hats off to Lieutenant Loco for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is Johnny the Bull teaming up with Vito versus Chronic. I thought it was an okay matchup. Back and forth matchup between both teams with Chronic keeping the pace of the match. And Chronic ultimately hits the finish. Pins for the three. And your winners of the match are Chronic. Hats off to Chronic for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is a, it's an ambulance matchup. It is Mike Awesome versus Diamond Dallas Page. I thought it was a good match. Back and forth matchup between Awesome and Diamond Dallas Page. Kimberly is here. And DDP then hits a diamond cutter. Canyon is here as well. Canyon then attacks Diamond Dallas Page. And your winner of the match is Mike Awesome. Mike Awesome is your winner of the match. Hats off to Mike Awesome for getting the win in that matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is a boot camp match. It is Booker T versus Sean Stasiak. I thought it was an awful match. Back and forth matchup between Booker T and Stasiak with Booker T hitting Sean Stasiak with a weapon. And your winner of the match is Booker T. Hats off to Booker T for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is a tables matchup. It is The Wall versus Shane Douglas. I thought it was an okay match. Back and forth matchup between The Wall and Douglas with Shane Douglas keeping the pace of the match. Douglas ends up putting The Wall through a table and your winner of the match is Shane Douglas. Hats off to Shane Douglas for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is Tank Abbott versus Rick Steiner versus Scott Steiner. I thought it was an okay matchup. Back and forth matchup between Abbott, Rick Steiner, and Scott Steiner. With Scott Steiner keeping the pace of the match. And Scott ultimately applies a Steiner recliner. And your winner of the match by submission is Scott Steiner. Hats off to Scott Steiner for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is Hawk Hogan versus Billy Kidman with special guest referee Horace Hogan. I thought it was an okay matchup. Back and forth matchup between Hogan and Kidman with Hogan keeping the pace of the match. Hogan ends up hitting Kidman with brass knuckles, pins for the three, and your winner of the match is Hawk Hogan. Hats off to Hawk Hogan for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is Ric Flair versus David Flair. I thought it was a good matchup. Back and forth matchup between Ric Flair and David Flair with Ric Flair keeping the pace of the match. But Ric Flair ultimately applies his signature figure four leg lock on David Flair. David Flair taps out, and your winner of the match is Ric Flair. Hats off to Ric Flair for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is a Human Torch match. It is Vampiro versus Sting. I thought it was an okay matchup. Back and forth matchup between Vampiro and Sting. And Vampiro ends up setting Sting on fire, and your winner of the match is Vampiro. Hats off to Vampiro for getting the win. In this matchup. Moving on from that. We go into our next match of the night. It is the main event of the Great American Bash 2000. It is Kevin Nash versus Jeff Jarrett for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. I thought it was an okay matchup. Back and forth matchup between Nash and Jarrett with Nash keeping the pace of the match. Rick is here. Rick then attacks Nash. Mysterio, Conan, and Guerrero in Disco Inferno attack Nash as well. Goldberg is here. Goldberg ends up hitting a spear on Kevin Nash, which allows Jarrett to go for the cover. Pins for the three. And your winner of the match is Jeff Jarrett. Hats off to Jeff Jarrett for getting the win in this matchup. A couple of things I want to say about the Great American Bash 2000 before we get out of here, man. Number one, it's a solid event uh, from top to bottom. It wasn't that bad. Um, again, this was a part of WCW when they were on the decline. Uh, the pay-per-view numbers weren't as strong. 
in the years of 99, 2000, 2001. So obviously, like I said, WCW was on a severe de uh, decline um, in those years. And you can just tell, man, the attendance was you know down. The match quality really wasn't there anymore. It was more about just booking a bunch of matches and, and slapping a bunch of matches together for the fans, and that was it. And honestly, you can tell. I mean, the matches were lack, you know, lackluster. Um, the storylines were awful at that point, and I don't think really anybody was truly invested um, in the product that WCW had at the time. So it just it was a steady decline, uh, not only for WCW, but for the talent as well. But just like I do with every single one of these pay-per-views, you guys know by now, I always give these pay-per-views a rating from 1 out of a 10. 1 being the absolute worst, 10 being the absolute best. I'm going to have to give Great American Bash 2000 a solid rating of a three and a half at best. But this is my review of the Great American Bash 2000. I hope you guys are out there staying safe. Be careful and remember, stay classic. Peace.